Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Random Lock. On the last episode, we uh, use our radio, our radio and the new Poke Gear that we got expansion to use the radio and the Poke Flute to wake up that Snorlax that was sitting in front of the Diglett's Cave entrance by Vermilion City. Managed to fight it and caught it. So, hooray. We headed through Diglett Cave, made our way over to Western Kanto, to Pewter City, where we got to see that the museum is closed, through Route 2, where we got to see that all of the Viridian Forest is gone, and uh, the Pewter and the Viridian City, which really hasn't changed except for the new trainer house there. We also went over to Indigo Plateau to unlock that path, and we headed down to Pallet Town to go talk with Professor Oak and see the two buildings of the two former... Man, the two former characters from the previous game, but we have yet to actually go inside either of them. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for one reason, and I will, and it'll be totally apparent at the end of this episode why. I should still have the super. No, nope, my super pill still active. Good. All right, we're gonna be heading south because we need to go to we need to go to Cinnabar Island because it's the last place that we need to get in order to fly to. So that's the way we go. Route 21. The, the water routes, God, are hurt. <laughs> they're really short compared to what they used to be. And they're very basic. I mean, they were very basic in the original game because they just looked like this. While in Johto, it's a little more raggedy. And not as uh, unnatural as these little circular iron pillars are. But in Kanto, they're just iron pillars, so whatever. If I win, you have to help me with my suntan lotion. That... Doesn't sound bad. <laughs> I mean, it's the night, so... Swimmer Nikki wants the battle. <gasps> you gotta see... This is not good for Godzilla. Godzilla is, like, not very effective against either types. But still, still just water, so I need to remember that. Ooh! Ooh, Sean. We have a real problem when it comes to ice types. Which is sad because we did have something good against ice types before. Oh, uh, Randy, why? No, wait, what am I talking about? We have Maggie. Water types. Also, also fighting types are, are effective, but like I said, we don't have Randy anymore. It's the water types I'm worried about. We don't have electric. We don't have... We don't have grass. And none of the TMs we've gotten are really good. Or any of those types. No, we do have a Thunderbolt, don't we? I think he's about to use another seal. Sean's just getting a bunch of experience here. I feel like this would be a good use of the experience share. Because Sean doesn't need all of this. But Sean's going to get all of it. He did split with Godzilla for the first one. Ooh, a dugong. We're switching it up right here. <laughs> Are you lower level than the seals? I think you're lower level than the seals were. Ooh, ooh. Oh, please. Please, please work in my favor. And, oh. <laughs> I had to hope. Well, you're not even worth confusing anymore. You're already confused. That's a nice chunk. So what if, what if you lose? Are you gonna help me with my suntan lotion? That sounds gross. <laughs> I'm worried about sunburn. Sorry. I mean, oh well. Chris is a girl. <laughs> who knows? Hey, who, care? who cares? <laughs> I'm bored by fishing. Let's battle. Fisher Arnold wants to battle. He's got a tentacruel. Ooh. Now I feel like I should just switch to, uh... I should just switch. Yeah, you know what? I think I will. I'm just gonna switch to Sean regardless. And it's gonna be great since Sean's psychic abilities are gonna really hurt. Oop. 
See? Super effective. <laughs> yeah, I was stumbling a little bit because I was trying to get a map of Route 21 up so I could see where all the trainers are. Wow! Okay! <laughs> I didn't see the map until literally right now. And I said it got shorted. I didn't realize by how much. Holy... Oh, boy. It's like, it's like a fourth of what it used to be. Because I think that's it. I think that's all the trainers here. Unless there's more swimmers. There's more swimmers. Land ho! Gotta keep going! I can find out how many trainers are. Swimmer Seth! Why can't there be a swimmer Derek? There had, there had to be had to be a Poke fan Derek that you could get the phone number of before, but not in Crystal. Also, we have Quagsire back. Mr. Smiley. Once again, a grass-type move would devastate you. It's a shame I don't have any. I mean, I might. I don't remember what all my TMs are. I don't know, I know none of them are good. Maybe I don't, I don't have Thunderbolt. I think I have Thundershock. But to use an Octillery. I don't think we've seen this Pokemon yet. Octillery is the evolved form of... Have we seen Remoraid? Is the evolved form of Remoraid. A fish. And it makes a lot more sense when you realize that they were supposed to be military themed before some uh, censorship happened with their designs. I mean, look at the name, Octillery. <laughs> Artillery. It, Octillery is supposed to look like a, like a, like a tank. Which is, I guess, a little fine. I think Remoraid was the issue because it looked like a gun. <laughs> Remoraid looked like a gunfish. Another Quagsire. It's probably the weirdest evolution. I feel like it still is the weirdest evolution, because it's like a total change of animal. Hooray, Sean! Plug. Oh, well, he's drowning. <laughs> Nothing we can do now. This arrogant guy was at Cinnabar's Volcano. And I think that was the final person. Also, here's Cinnabar's Volcano. And, uh, nothing's really left of Cinnabar. <laughs> it's so happy music. There's a notice here. Cinnabar Jim has been relocated to Seafoam Islands. Blaine. So it sounds like Blaine's still the gym leader of the Cinnabar Jim. Yeah, but look! <laughs> There's no buildings left. Only the Pokemon Center is left. It's been a year since the volcano erupted. Cinnabar Jim's Blaine apparently lives alone in the Seafoam Islands cave. So, this is all that's left of Cinnabar. Just the Pokemon Center. The lab, which was next door, somehow got eaten up by the volcano. The Mart's gone. The mansion's gone. So that's another dungeon that got lost. The gym is gone, but it apparently moved to the Seafoam Islands. Also, also there's someone else here. That guy. He might look a little familiar. The fiery town of Burning Desire, which is no longer a town. was burning. There's a hyper potion here. Also... Unique, you can see a lake at the top, which is unreachable. But there's this guy here. Who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. Oh, come on! That's not nice! Aw! Oh, what happened? My name's Blue. I was once the champion. Although it was only for a short time. That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You wanna challenge me or something? I hate to say it, but I'm not in the mood for a battle now. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that, the whole town disappears. 
We can go on, we can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. I'm a little upset. I need to check something right now. So it, it's going to go silent, but I need to <laughs> I need to check this because I need to make sure I didn't screw all this up. Uh, I just got to remember how to check it. How do I check it? Games. There we go. Because there should have been something that happened there. But it didn't. And I'm curious... I'm curious as to why it didn't happen. Either either it still is going to happen or I screwed up. All right, give me a moment. I'm about to I'm about to solve this whole thing. Unrecognized. Ooh, this is the wrong program. What program am I looking for? There it is. Oh, something, something might be covering up the screen. Hold on. Okay. Uh I think we're still good. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> here's the reason why I just had to check something after that popped up. So that was the rival. That was the rival from yellow. That was Sean. He didn't say he was Sean. He said he was Blue, because Blue is the canon name. And I think we mentioned this in Yellow when we did it. But, yeah. I was aware. I I changed something. And it shouldn't have been Blue. But, I mean, it was... <laughs> it was Blue. But I think I only changed it for something that's going to happen. He also mentioned Red. who And Red is us from yellow that, that that's that was the main character's canon name we played as bucky so he's talking about bucky but he'd mentioned red and that also shouldn't have been red but i guess it is in conversations so we'll have to see something that changes but uh that's D did i even start my timer uh, yeah <laughs> i did uh, you know what? We're going to continue heading east. We're going we're gonna to take care of Route 20 as well. And probably Route 19 when we get to it. Let's do a route comparison of Route 20. Also, let's do a route comparison of Cinnabar Island, just to see how much that shrank. It went from, I think... I think that went from four squares to two, which is just upsetting. <laughs> An entire town got cut. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. 
I mean, can't you reach Route 26 from here? It's kind of close, isn't it? Summer Cameron. Although they do state that the waters get really rough outside of the routes, so that probably explains the issue. Oh, look, it's a barrel. I'm gonna change. So I, pa I, <laughs> I panicked a little bit there. The whole, the whole change that I did was riding on that conversation right there. And it didn't, it didn't happen, so I immediately panicked. Because that was supposed to be the first time we noticed it. Other than going back to Pallet Town and talking to those buildings. <laughs> Hiya! Jackie! Who's in route? Who's in this route? Okay, there's some people here. I was about to say, because the route's short again. The route seems actually tall. Oh, no! Wait, what? I thought I had a repel. Oh, aren't you ugly. Hi, Apom. Oh, we gotta catch you now. Don't faint it. Good. <laughs> I haven't lost a Pokemon to fainting yet from trying to catch it. I don't need a grape ball on you. It bombs are cute. <laughs> it's just its face at the beginning. It uses its tail to hang on to tree branches. It uses its momentum to swing from one branch to another. Also, that tail is another hand. Do you need an Apom? I will. So Apom's normal type. Oh, it's a girl. I was gonna name it. <laughs> I was gonna name, nickname it Monkey Man. Uh, all right. Well, you're gonna be named this now. <laughs> you're Dixie now. Now, let's use a repel. I guess I didn't have one, and I just went that far without without it. We're, we're already at the Seafoam Islands. What does the sign say? Cinnabar Gym Leader, Blaine. So, Blaine is the gym leader of this, of the, of the, uh, of the Seafoam Islands. But also, there is, uh... You know what? This is going to be the second gym we go in. This is it! This is all the Seafoam Islands is this one room. And it's not even... There's no wild Pokemon here. It's just the gym. Also, there's no trainers for his gym. So we just fight him directly. The Seafoam Islands were the, was the extra one I added last episode to the areas that got shafted but are still technically in. Because it still says Seafoam Islands. And they still have both islands here. But it's just that one room. There's no ice Pokemon to catch. Because I guess they brought it all over for the ice path. Which, I mean, this is now the third place that we've been to that a legendary bird has been. Because we went through Victory Road and we didn't see Moltres. We were at the power plant and we didn't see Zapdos. And now we're at the Seafoam Islands and there's no sign of Articuno. In this game, you can't catch any of those three. Because... Bucky caught them all. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of... The reasoning why, because you're you in the previous generation caught them all. You better have. What an impression! What an impressive collection of gym badges. We should battle. Summer Lori wants to battle. Ooh, Samantha's nowhere to be found. Samantha's gonna get hit by a water attack right now. I hope it's gonna be water, not ice. Don't be ice. Well, you can survive a bubble beam. <laughs> you probably not survive a very strong ice attack. Because you're flying type. A lot of experience for Godzilla for just showing up. Summer Lori is about to use Starmie. Well, Samantha's staying out for this one. Oh. 
I'm, I'm, I'm slowly regaining my composure from that scare we had on Cinnabar. I think it's gonna be fixed. Which, it's annoying. I really hope that it would have, it would have shown in the changes on the, on the thing, but I guess not. I probably had to do something else for that. And I really wish I would have looked into that, or at least tested it before I did it. Because there's, uh, I mean, this is going to be something nice that we're going to experience when we eventually get back over to, sh to blue. I feel so much lighter in water. <laughs> I almost called him Sean. His name is Blue. Won't be long. So we're Nicole sent out a Meryl. Godzilla, you're just getting you're getting attendance awards for these. Which is fine. God, I'm just looking at the list of trainer fights in these water routes. I go from like all of 19 was like seven to eight fights from trainers, and now in this generation it's three. 180. But he's a Lapras. Sean's staying out. Hi, Lapras. Bye, Lapras? Nope, not yet. Ooh, of course. Of course it paralyzes. Maybe I'm still fast enough. Nope. Oh! <gasps> Oh wait, is that the is that that's the bat that's the bad one? I need to do uh uh please paint it. <laughs> Ooh, Parashon! I I I had Parashon song and Destiny Bond merged in my mind. Thank God it was incorrect about that. <laughs> so we went over Destiny Bond where if you use it and you faint, uh, you drag the other Pokemon down with you. I think it has to be that turn. I'm not sure if it's for the entire battle, because that would suck, especially in a Nuzlocke. Paris Song, Par I can't say it. Parish Song will faint both Pokemon in three turns, unless you can either faint it, or it will faint you before then. Otherwise, both go. So, I'm glad Sean fainted it now, because if it would have lasted three more turns, it'd be bad. But to use a Meryl, you know what? Uh, let's keep Sean out. I got nervous when it did it, because I was like, uh-oh, if Sean hits it... <gasps> Sean's still active! Does Sean, Sean is still active. You know what? I'm going to use a full restore so I can get Sean to not be paralyzed and potentially miss a turn. Sean's paralyzed count is two. You better kill this thing! I don't know if switching out would actually not... would actually uh, turn that off. <laughs> Sean dodged a big bullet. Oh no, I hate you. I need that stress right now. <laughs> especially after the especially after the the blue Sean stress I just had to deal with. The other Sean, not you. The game was like, oh there can be only one Sean. And tried to take one of them. Okay, we're in route 19 now. Which is the route that leads us back up to Fuchsia. Have you ever gone swimming in the sea at night? Like now? I'm not sure if he would say anything different if it was day. I think it just happened to be a perfect timing that we talked to him in the night. Harold wants the battle. Here's Rummeraid. <laughs> Can you kind of see the gun design in him now? Like how those, like how those stripes in the back of him are supposed to be like where the chambers are in a revolver <laughs> and the little dot above his the little horn on his head is the is the iron sight and his bottom fin is supposed to be like the the grip <laughs> it's funny when you learn that when you learn that before he just looks like a fish after, he looks like a gun. So I'm sorry. I just ruined Remorite for a lot of people. Go away, Cedra. I know what you look like. 
<laughs> Sean's just like, I don't want to be Parish Songed anymore. All because he let <laughs> Lapras live. Club. I'm drowning so many swimmers. I'm so sorry. Two more trainers there. One more trainer here. Swimming? I'm lousy at it. I'm just splashing around in these shallow waters. Apparently the water, the, the shallowness of this route goes out deep. We're like, he's like halfway out in the route. Swimmer Drome wants the battle. Please be like Magikarps. I figured, this, I figured a terrible swimmer would have terrible water Pokemon. I still don't trust Godzilla to fight these things. Even though Godzilla is... 20 levels higher! And Bubble is probably the weakest water move. Is Splash? Splash is not a water move. I think Splash is just a normal move. <laughs> but if it, if it was a water move, that would be the weakest. Because it literally does nothing. Use a Goldeen. Sean's just getting all the water experience. It's because Sean's OP. And it's a shame that go that Confusion is Sean's move of choice at the moment, because it could be Psychic. He's a Tentacruel. Sean's staying out. At least this one that's good to use Confusion on it. Drum is about to use Tentacool. John's saying up for this. this poor Tentacool and Tentacruel. Well, they deserve it for being annoying. <laughs> They're the Zubats of the sea. Everyone knows that. I thought I could win. Surprisingly, you didn't say Glove, despite saying you're a terrible swimmer. That would mean you're better than you thought. All right, you're... You two. I'm about to ruin a romantic night, aren't I? I'm disgusted by wimpy people. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Swimmer Dawn wants the battle. Said it a Sea King. I should learn what Pokemon can learn Destiny Bond and avoid them. <laughs> I know Lapras can learn Paris Song now. I'm still having issues saying that word. You try to say Parish and then Song immediately after. It's super quick. It's like a tongue twister. Ooh, ooh. Please hurt yourself and, and KO yourself. Ah, ooh, but you missed. This won't. Sean's gonna hit the 48. Well, it's it for Don. I could beat you swimming. Me or Chris? Oh, hi, Wade. You like a Pokemon battle? It won't be like la- oh, whatever. Okay, I know where you are, too. I mean, I- I was a varsity swimmer in college, but that was before my wrist broke and my knee shattered. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know now. He said something about, oh, this guy's, <laughs> this guy's struggling to swim. Or he's gone a long distance. Swimmer Tucker wants the battle. Is that a shelter? Ah. God, the red around its eyes is creepy. Oh, well, John, you're gonna hit 48 this battle. Cause uh That's that was a good reason to switch. Was a good reason to switch. No, that would still have been super effective against Godzilla. Be a cloister. Yep. That closer looks so much better than it did in the first generation. 
They really didn't change that much. I mean, it's still the same technology. Just color. <laughs> I'm drowning! Oh, well, okay, I've killed four people this episode. I better leave. But, because we went through the other way, Route 19 has had all its boulders cleared. And then repel war out. So we can now go this way if we want. But, I mean, we've just... We just defeated all the trainers, so there's no reason to go back that way. Except for Pokemon. The roadwork is finally finished. Now I can go fishing again. I'm all sweaty. Time for a swim. I don't know when the... I don't know when the boulders get switched. To normal routes. I think it has to be when you are at Cinnabar. Or maybe it's when you enter Route 20 and you're swimming. I'm not sure. But I think there might be a point where you could just go back. Like, fly back to Fusion and it might be done. Unless you have to do something. Alright, so... Red's house. <laughs> that shouldn't say red. Blue's house. That shouldn't say blue either. I really should have looked at the script editor. Maybe that would have helped. Hi, Daisy. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out of, ta out of town so often it causes problems for the trainers. I'm annoyed at his name. I'm the one that named him. <laughs> it's our mother. Hi! Well, not our mother. Red's been away for a long time. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say that no word is proof that he's doing fine, but I do worry about him. <laughs> we went to Red's room before we went back to our room. Oh, look, it's his N64. First played the N64. Better get going, no time to lose. It looks like it hasn't been used in a long time. Pokemon Magazines, Pokemon Pal, Pokemon Handbook, Pokemon Graph. I'm gonna talk to any bookshelf and say that. Is it, the, is it about the boys running from home? Yeah, programs that aren't shown in Johto. Okay, never mind. She doesn't heal us like, I mean, because she doesn't really know us. <laughs> like she did with her son previous games, but that's gonna do it for this episode. We did Route 19, Route 20, and Route 21 backwards. We went through 21 first. Read Cinnabar Island, or what was left of it, and got blue Sean to fly back to Viridian City, so now he's at the gym. So we could go fight him if we want. And we also found where Blaine's gym is, because it got moved from Cinnabar Island. <laughs> I have hiccups now. There's still th some things that we can do. And I think next episode we're going to start by heading west, east of Pewter City, down Route 3 to Mount Moon. And then we can do Route 4 and end off in Cerulean. When we get to Cerulean, that'll probably be one episode too. Just that whole thing. Uh, the next episode after that might be us going north, up Route 24 and Route 25, heading to the Cape. And that might be just one episode. Then we might have an episode of Route 11 and Route 12, and then 13, 14, and 15, depending on how many people are there. That might be two episodes or something. I want to finish all of Kanto before we start taking on the gym leaders. And we can do the gym leaders in order now. Peter City, Cerulean City, Vermilion City, Celadon City, Fuchsia City, Saffron City, the Seafoam Islands and uh, Viridian City. And once we do all of those, we might head back over to Johto and, and deal with the World Islands, because we can still do that as well, before we uh, finish off the game. Sounds like a good plan. I'm annoyed at this, though. I'm really annoyed. I really should have checked it. See, the whole the whole randomizing this game happened really late into the decision making. Like Crystal was a lock as the game to be played, as a game to be played since we did Yellow. But the whole decision to make it randomized happened like two weeks before we started playing, 
And it was two years from when we played Yellow to when we played Crystal, so that was really late. Since Yellow, though, was the plan to have these switched. Like, I, I, I had it set up so that Blue would be known as Sean, and Red would be known as Bucky. And I thought it was going to reference that on all the signs and stuff, and like when you talk to them and other people, but apparently not. So I think it's only going to be referenced when we fight Sean. So, yeah. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.